Today we're focusing on the cooling system in a 907H2 wheel loader from Caterpillar. Coolant is toxic and can be messy to deal with, so you want to make sure you have the necessary equipment beforehand. A pair of uh, glasses and gloves for safety, a jug for disposal, something to clean with and a drip pan, some funnels, a socket wrench, and a lighter visibility. Because Manraj said so. Before dealing with heavy duty equipment, always make sure to activate your night switch. With the engine cooled, look for the rad cap, or in this case the cap on the reservoir tank, and make sure you take it off. That's going to let air into the system and it'll actually uh, drain a lot easier. This particular piece of equipment had an access panel that you need to remove to get to the drain valve. So simply remove the four bolts and uh, there's that wrench I mentioned earlier. Once the panel is removed, you should be able to see the valve next to the drain hole. You'll want to get your pan ready. This machine held 24 liters of coolant, so there's going to be a lot that comes out. And you'll see that this stuff is actually fairly clean, but because this video is just for instructional purposes, we're going to be reusing this coolant. Take a look at your reservoir to make sure that the coolant has drained, and once it has drained, you can begin a flushing procedure if necessary. For the flushing procedure, you'll want to make sure to use distilled water and not tap water. And the reason why I say that is because tap water is filled with all sorts of minerals that can calcify or otherwise just damage your cooling system. So pour the distilled water in here. Once your cooling system is filled with distilled water, run your engine for a minute or two, keeping an eye on the thermostat. Um, no, Robin, over there. Keep an eye on the thermostat, make sure that it's operating at normal temperatures. Um, if you get bored in the process, you can always just play with some rope. Repeat the process of flushing the cooling system and running the engine while making sure you allow the engine to cool in between, of course, uh, until your liquid comes out looking pretty much clear. It's important that you dispose of your coolants properly because it can be very bad for the environment. So if your shop doesn't have uh, waste bins for whatever reason, there are other places you can recycle your coolant, like the local parts shop, for example. Check your OEM to make sure that you're using the proper coolant to replace in the system. Um, more often than not, you'll find 50-50 premixed, but if you do end up with a 100% coolant, make sure you do 50-50 with distilled water. You don't really want to put that in your cooling system. Once it's topped off, Run the engine and keep an eye on the reservoir, making sure that it doesn't go below the minimum line. You can also take a peek inside to make sure uh, if you see any air bubbles, it's just uh, air escaping the system. The levels are looking pretty good in this one, so we're going to put the plate back on. Make sure you grab a buddy for that one. And uh, clean up around the reservoir, making sure that the reservoir cap is actually secure. Don't touch that. It's also a good idea to clean up any uh, creepers that are lying around on the floor so that your instructor doesn't get mad at you. And don't forget to clean your teeth! This has been a TBE Money Team production.